My thoughts on interracial relationships. I have to admit, when I was growing up, I wanted to marry a white woman. <laughs> and it's pretty crazy, right? And it's the craziest thing ever. But if you come to think about it, the epitome of beauty is white women. And when I was growing up, there were very few shows where there were black women depicted, right? There was Ubambo Luami, Mzinizinsiza, there was no women there, as you can hear from the title. Uh, Abu Mazwi, Stumo, and all those shows. But when I grew up, I saw those fat asses, right? <laughs> fat asses from black women. And when you kiss a black woman, oh, those fat lips, they were massaging my lips. I was like, no ways, I'm not going back. I'm not doing that, man. Because right now, I don't see myself dating a white woman. Like, pretty impossible. Like, it would be, like, I would be forcing myself to do that. But my cousin the other day, he was saying he wishes he was white. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so even in present time, the media, the depiction of white people are the best depiction. And I don't really blame the white media, right? It's their own media. Why should I complain that we are not depicted more? We are not represented more. It's their own media. We should have our own media and actually depict our own people. So generally speaking, I don't have a problem with interracial relationships. If you want to marry a white person, fine. And people, let's not police people on who they date. If a person is dating a foreigner or whatever, because I see a lot in Twitter, right? On Twitter, there's a lot of people saying, oh man, why are you dating foreigners? Why are South African women dating foreigners? Why are you policing people's relationships? Man, it's none of your business. So, man, whoever you date, I don't have a problem with that. Whether they are white or whatever, I might be pro-black, but I'm not a hater, bro. Love whoever you want to love.